Hello, I'm Paula Kopitz, and this is the Reading Catholic Community Daily Message. If you know me, I often use Bishop Barron's reflections to help guide me in my understanding of the Word. He often contributes thoughts and insights which are very relative regarding moments that are happening in real time. Today, I would like to invite you to watch a 30-minute conversation the bishop had regarding a recent article written by the evangelical apologist Natasha Crane. In her article, Natasha explores what she terms as disagreement fatigue, a phenomenon perhaps exacerbated by the polarization of our last election or just the unfiltered gutterings posted on a litany of social media platforms. Whatever its cause, it's real and it comes with real consequences if you give into it, especially if you're a Christian. Bishop Barron does a fine job when he encourages us as Christians to be more artful in our conversations, especially when it comes to conversations about our faith, many of which may start out negative, but all are actually opportunities to go into the deep, as St. John Paul II would say, and take the risk. Bishop Barron proposes, more often than not, if you practice the dance of dialogue, you'll have the chance to acknowledge a point in the conversation, and then pivot to make your argument, or better said, state your beliefs and your reason for them. The bishop goes on to emphasize, in a culture of correctness, do not fear speaking out of love and seeking the truth. We could have a thousand sessions on what evangelization is and how to go about doing it. For me, this 30-minute honest conversation of Bishop Barron's and his encouragement to enter into more conversations like it is a must here. Communicating with believers and non-believers in a conversation of conversion that acknowledges and distinguishes the difference, but always out of love and moving closer to the truth, is probably the most important 30 minutes you will have in your, in your life this week. In closing her article, Natasha Crane implores us by saying, Friends, 2021 is not the year to succumb to 2020's induced disagreement fatigue. 2021 is a time to speak boldly. When opportunities arise, yes, we are all tired, but it is the joy of the Lord that is our strength. Let us rest in that and rather our avoiding of disagreement. Bishop Babin closes, reminding us, that disagreement is not a bad thing. When you say you're a Christian, you are saying you are not other things, giving an opportunity to enter into a deeper conversation, always in love and always seeking the truth. To watch this very thoughtful video, please find the link attached to this message. Have a beautiful day. God bless and happy Easter season.